update time. This is that tank that I had Mickey Mouse Platy adults in. And I had Blue Dream Shrimp in and I took all those out. And the Mickey Mouse Platys made more Mickey Mouse Platys. They breed like mice while Mickey Mouse, right? And I ended up putting a double batch of Green Jade Neo Caridina in here. And uh, I'm not sure if I did, I wasn't seeing a lot of them. I'm not sure if the adult Mickey Mouse Platys kind of took them out. But anyway, I took the Mickey, adult Mickey Mouse out of here and I ended up putting a second double batch of uh, green jade shrimp in here. And there's one here that really looks a lot more like a blue dream that I missed maybe. And I'm gonna let it go for a while, but there are a bunch, there's a little one cruising right there. And, and the vendor uh, mentioned in a message to me that they vary in uh, coloration until they mature. So there's some more back there. And I'm going with that, that's okay. Uh, I just saw another YouTube page, another video. The guy was showing his green jade and they are really spectacular when they're mature and a big clump of them. There's a little bitty one on the leaf right there. Uh, let's see if I can point to it right there. And I saw a bunch that size on this glass. I just scraped the glass down. Algae a little thick here because it's this uh, it's open to this window side. So I leave all the algae on the, on this one end. That way the shrimp can feed on it. And there's one right there. And I think that's another little bitty one. A couple little bitty ones back in there. Um, and there might still be some bladder snails in here. I'm trying to get those out pretty close. You just keep just keep working on it. Just keep swimming. So they they seem to be doing really well now. And it came with this uh, chunk of Java moss that uh, I've never been, I've never had it. So now I've got a couple chunks of Java moss from the two green jade orders. And that same vendor was, I mean, super generous and sent me a, a, an order of uh, the yellow, uh, what are they, gold, gold back, golden back Neo Caridina that are doing really well. And I will uh, do an update. On those, I'll just attach it to this so we can just do kind of a shrimp update and I'll show you what's going on with my shrimp. And there's another one on top of that fern right there. There's a couple of them. There's a bunch of shrimp in here. So what I'm gonna do too is get all the uh, Mickey Mouse platies out of here and put them in with their colleagues in a tank out in the garage. And that way this will just be the shrimp, at least for now, I'd like to get some other fish that maybe smaller and will leave the little Neo Caridina alone. There's a lot of hide. There's all these crypts. And on the backside, there's jungle val. There is this Java, Java moss. And then there's this pot full of crypt, uh, Cryptocorin winii. So there's plenty of hide. There's five little uh, bronze quarries swimming around in here too. And then I've got a bunch of uh, hornwort at the top of this tank. And shrimp love hornwort as much as they love guppy grass. There's a little one, let's see if we can focus on that. Right here, trying to get a spot. It's hard to, someday I'll get a real camera with a, some sort of zoom telephoto lens or whatever that I can do this with, as long as it can shoot video. We're working on it. But anyway, you see how small some of these Mickey Mouse platies are. So I don't know if any of these, I don't know that they're big enough to be gravid. Although, you know, some of them look like they could be. But that's, hey, they just keep making more. So I don't know what their their sexual maturity is. I have to look at that. I think that's actually a male right here, this big one. The, the anal fins are the long pointed ones. Uh, and I forgot there's a name difference between the male and female. So anyway, let's go out to one of the garage tanks and we'll, we'll see this. So this was the green jade. So what the hell, let's start left to right. This tank, and it's cloudy again, and I just, uh, this tank was down to about here, may, no, maybe all the way, with uh, guppy grass. And I sell that on eBay. And so yesterday, we just got back from uh, El Paso, Texas on Tuesday, and I had several orders that came in while we were gone, so I just cleaned out this tank and this tank. They were just chuck full, so I think I took out 11 
11 orders of guppy grass and I sell an orders one cup I mean one packed full cup so that's so that really just cleaned these tanks out which is good so you can see this tank is blue dream shrimp and I got a load and these have been really productive uh, just right away they they uh, when I when I got these they started making more almost immediately and within a month I had blue dream shrimp everywhere I can see a couple up here with the guppies. They play well together. They're, they're kind of cool. Um, okay. And then in this tank, look at the glass there. Orange sunkissed. All right. And on the bottom here. And these took a couple tries. Uh, the first try, I think I lost them all. Maybe one or two survived. Uh, and then I, I repopulated. It was about a month, six weeks later, I bought another order of them. And... They went nuts, and they're, you know, they're up in the guppy grass. Uh, shrimp love guppy grass. They just, they like to hang out in it. There's a great source for food. All the little, uh, the leaves kind of almost act to filter out particles. Particles stick to it, and the shrimp, you know, capitalize on that. And you can see uh, the orange neocaridine. These are, they were called orange sunkist. And they're all over that pot full of cryptocorine back there. All right, and then lastly is this tank, and there's still some little uh, red cherry in here, but and they're hard to see. Not the red cherry, but the yellow, uh, yellow golden back. I think is what they're called. There's some right in front, mixed with those red cherries. Uh, let's see if I can. There's one there. There's another one right there. Um, so they're they're thick in here. I got to try and separate out the red cherries uh, before any of these shrimp get real big. As the red cherries get bigger, it makes them easier to get out. And this tank's uh, got a bunch of hornwort. All three of these tanks, I am fighting bladder snails. I've got something I'd like to get for it, but I'm not sure if I can get it here in the states. Uh, but the the hornwort's as good as guppy grass when it comes to shrimp. Same thing. Uh, collects a lot of particles. Shrimp like to feed in it, and you know I keep uh, keep that around as well. So anyway, there's a quick update. And I have red cherries. I was going to say anyway, that's a quick update. But I have red cherries in a bunch of tanks, and uh, we can go see if we can find some. Let's see. And we might just edit this part out if we don't find any because they're everywhere. Of course, there's. Uh, Orange sunkissed on that side of the tank too. They're all in this little Amazon sword. This is one of the Amazon swords that I separated off the big Amazon swords in my 40 breeder. I did a whole video on that, uh, how I separated them out and repotted them all. You can go check that one out. Tank full of guppy grass. This is one of my 40 breeders. You can see the red cherries right in there all over up in the top. They like that. They like hanging out in the guppy grass. There's a bunch more right in there. So I thought while I was at it, I may as well try and get as many of the little red shrimp out of here. I don't want to contaminate these yellows. And everybody's still really small, so I'm, I know I've got some time. But I thought, what the heck? And I just pulled out another 29 little bitty ones. There's one that's a little bit bigger size. And I'm going to put them in that five gallon farm tank that I had the problems with, that I overdosed with hydrogen peroxide on the separate plants. Uh, there, uh, well, we'll go see. All right, well, here's that farm tank. And you probably remember where had that blue-green algae in here, the cyanobacteria, and I used that stuff that I can't remember the name of. I'll put it in. Um, and uh, all the, I put all the plants in a bucket and loaded them with uh, hydrogen peroxide. Um, and, and it killed back the cribs back there, but they're coming back now. And then it also killed back the cryptochorine parva that were in these little pots. They were tissue culture. I don't think they're coming back. 
And in this pot back here, I had that one Blix of Japonica that looked like it was recovering. I think it's done. So anyway, now I just, I'm just i throwing all my Java fern and, and uh, just fern in here, uh, loose for now. And I got this, uh, yeah, I can't remember. I think it's a Bulbitis in one of the tubes that uh, maybe Petco. Well, look at the look at the way they grow. Oh, duckweed. Look at the way they grow new plantlets right off the leaf. You know, how about I show you? Look at the way they grow new plantlets right off the leaf here. Kind of cool. And there's another one starting to form there. And we'll get that duckweed out of there. Um, and so anyway, this is the tank. And I have Blue Dream Shrimp in here. And I took them all out but one. Well, and let me rephrase that. I took them all out, put one of them. Uh, I think it was a big buried one. I put it in another tank because I don't want to risk it. Put it in the tank that we just saw with all the Blue Dreams. And then I put, I think, four or five little Blue Dream back in here. They all died. The water was just not suited for them. So it's been a while now. God, it's been a month. I've got this pair of guppies in here. They're doing fine. I think, oh, you know, they've already started making little guppies. There's one right on the top. Um, and I'm going to float these red cherries in here. And what I'm going to do is just add a little... Just a little bit of water. And I'll keep doing that. I'll get, you know, try and keep most of it in the tank. Some of it end up on the garage floor no matter what I do. But anyway, that's kind of that. So I will do that for a while. Uh, about every five, 10 minutes or so, I'll, I'll put water in there. And then maybe in the next half an hour or so, I'll dump them in. And those all came out of that tank. Well, I tell you, Neocaridina, they are the gift that keeps on giving. So here they go. I have about double the water quantity. Temperature's all the same in the garage here. They should be all right. So let's get them out and see what we get. Give the guppies some company. And there they go, a shrimp ball. And nothing left in the cup. And there they are. Kind of cool.